Joining us now, ladies and gentlemen, oh. <laughs> the newest member of the Los Angeles Chargers who have had quite an active offseason. He joins a defense that has the likes of now Khalil Mack, J.C. Jackson, Woo. Derwin James. Yep. Woo. They got Bosa. Joey Bosa. Absolute studs all over the place. What will they do next year? Can't wait to find out. Joining us now to chit-chat about his decision and what he's excited about. Friend of the show, ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Van Noy. Yeah! 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 Hey, yeah! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go, dude! Let's go! <laughs> hey, we're happy for you, man. Congratulations. What was the whole process like? And how did you, like, did you know the Chargers were going to be a destination at any point, or did this happen quickly? It was one of my destinations. Um, I looked at different teams that would actually fit my skill set. Um, a place that I felt like could use um, my skills. And I actually sought out uh, multiple teams and, you know, I got some no's and some yeses and, you know, it happened to be the Chargers. It happened quickly and I'm, I'm very excited about it. They were excited. I was excited. And I think it's going to be a match made in heaven. Hey. Um, I'm going to do everything I can to bring that championship pedigree to that team. Yeah. Uh, that's something that, is uh, within me and I'm a winner and that's what I want to bring to the table there. Uh, they have really good pieces. They have really good coaches. They have really good staff behind the scenes. I mean, it's an amazing atmosphere there. I'm excited to get to work there. Hell yes. That sounds awesome, by the way. I'm pumped for you. You said you sought out a couple of teams. Did you watch film? Did you, like, check out who needed what? And when you reach out to them, what do you say? Like, hey, listen, I think we'd be a good fit. And then when the Chargers, uh, what did you see about the Chargers that you thought would be a good fit? And do you just call Tom Telesco and say, like, hey, I think I'd be a good fit out there. Is that how that whole thing works? No, I think it's more of your agent handling all okay. those things. It's just the re it's the message that I give to my agent that's speaking on my behalf, of course, uh, because those are his circles that, you know, he does. My agent did an amazing job. Shout out Justin Soman. That's my guy. Hey, shout um, out, shout, shout out, out. Yeah. shout out, Justin. What up? He did a he did a good job and I appreciate him and I appreciate Tom Telesco a lot. Uh, we it got done quickly and it was it was you know awesome. It was really really good. Uh, you know I talked to Staley for an hour on the phone. I'm not going to go into detail of everything we talked about because okay. some things were personal. But man, what an impressive guy! And I think you know the thing that stood out to me the most about him is he's super genuine. What you guys see on camera when you see his interviews. I mean he's been on the show multiple time with you guys. He's, he's been, I, I believe he's been in your st yeah. studio, right? Right here, yeah. yeah. He, he was literally just sitting this, right there. Yeah, same exact human. The connect thing is interesting because both, uh, I think he talked about it whenever we asked him about the COVID struggles, you know, and the protocols. And he said, well, whenever you depend upon your connection with your players as your main thing, Whenever there's restraints and restrictions on that, you could see that as a little bit of a, a bummer. So I forget how he worded it, but it, it was at that sentence I was like, "Oh, like he tries to like he's invested in everybody, huh?" That seems to be his kind of his thing. I'm happy to hear that you guys started with an hour long conversation. Is it just a family feel over there? Is that what you're getting a sense of? Yeah, they're doing their culture there that they've created, and you know, I. I I'm now in, in that culture. It's very, very family oriented, and that's awesome. Uh, it's awesome to be a part of an uh, organization that puts family at the one of the top of their list, right next to football. And you know, it's exciting. It's exciting to have my little family be a part of the the Charger gang, and we're very pumped. We're pumped because you know, as you know, I live out there, so yeah. it's nice to be down the street. <laughs> hop in a car and go to work. Hey, I think L.A. has that as an advantage for a lot of guys going forward. The Rams have taken advantage of it, obviously. Everybody knows that in the city. But now it feels like the Chargers making real plays. This is this is so exciting to watch, I would assume, as every single Chargers fan. We would like to let the Chargers fans know that watch this show. I don't know if there's many of them or not. 
Hey, this is a fucking guy. Yeah, hell yeah. And we are so happy for you, man. I was so pumped to hear you were going <laughs> to the Chargers, too, because they're a crew, a team that is very open with us. Like, the social media team, like, asks us if we need anything or want anything. Like, it feels like they get it over there, Kyle. Did you get that feeling as well? Yes, they do get it. Um, they do whatever it takes to be a championship organization. Like, you, you can tell that as soon as you walk through the building, everyone, you know, has that. You could just feel the sense of urgency and everybody's hungry to win. And that, that's how he wants it. Staley, that goes all the way up to the owner. They, they want to win, and they're doing whatever it takes to win. And uh, they're getting a group of men together that I'm excited for this, cha this challenge. Uh, obviously, we got to go through the gauntlet of uh, the AFC West. You know, that starts with the Chiefs. They're, they're the champion of that division and we got to go and compete against them the Raiders have gotten better the Broncos have gotten better so we got our hands full but we're going to focus on what we're going to do and we're going to try to play winning football uh, offense defense and special teams it's really fun to be a part of a group of men that are so hungry and so eager it's awesome to be in a building like that that's awesome to, you can feel it when you're walking through and then the hour-long convo and then now it's almost like let's get to work where are you guys at is it otas right now no is uh, chargers in the middle of no nope. phase two it's phase two okay how is it what is it what is the building like over there i didn't even think about because they're not sharing a building with the rams right they have their own facility where's the fa yeah they have their own facility i think the rams are up in thousand oaks and we're down in Costa Mesa, so, you know, they're up there, we're down there, you know, you know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's good, it's, it's a really good facility, it's a really good feel, uh, I'm excited to get to work there, excited to get to know the guys, I mean, my, my first reach out was, of course, Khalil Mack, uh, being in the same draft class as him, getting to know him, and being able to play with somebody like that, who has a chip on his shoulder and wants to win. Uh, he's been in Chicago, and we know how it's been there. I'm not gonna be oh. dis disrespectful to Chicago. Aaron Rodgers already does that. Oh, oh shit! Got you. Chicago, oh, taking it on the shit. Come shit. on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I, I love Chicago. Great food. Great oh, food. Yeah, oh, yeah. Beautiful. The Gold Coast. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, the lake. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, Khalil Mack, yourself. You guys are old now. You know, you're an old man now, but it feels no, we're not. We're not old. We're experienced. Woo! Uh, hell yeah. Woo! We're experienced. I don't want. I don't want. I think a lot of people see you're you're trying. You're in the media section, and no, you're no. getting to a bunch of the haters who are no, saying like, no. I could be washed up. I'm no. getting old and slow. No. But I cannot wait. I cannot wait to play. I am so excited because I got a big chip on my shoulder, as you know. Um, I'm going to fit right into this group. Everybody's got a chip on their shoulder, but I got a lot to prove still. Uh, and everybody thinks I can't play it out, outside of New England for some reason. And I can't wait. I can't wait to prove all the people in my life right that bet on me like you guys out there. I know you guys are, you know, huge supporters of me. And I can't I cannot wait to prove you guys right. Man, it's almost like I knew that response would come if I said that, you know. Uh -huh. You know, whenever yeah. you said, oh, you're in the media world, <laughs> yeah. it's always like listening to you talk right there. I bet you Tom Telesco and Staley heard that same speech and they were like, let's fucking get this guy in the building. Yeah. He's a champion and he's more driven than it seems like. And like it's your first year trying to prove everybody wrong. I'm like, I'm excited to watch you, Kyle. I know oh, somebody's yeah. going to miss you. I do you. feel like a rookie, bro. I, I, I do feel like it. I'm learning a system. I'm learning all new people. I got to get the trust of my teammates. Like I know all of those things, but I want I want to win and I want to do everything I can to get that trust and get the coaches trust and all that. And be I'm a Charger, so I'm ready to go. You know who's gonna miss you, Boston Connor. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, Kyle, from me and I think all Patriots fans. You know, thank you for your service thank to you, New England Kyle. and also you know good luck in LA with the Chargers. But how did that whole thing kind of end? Because I feel like it took me off guard and a lot of other fans. We didn't think we'd see you with another team. We thought you'd be back for another year. Were you surprised at all, or was that just something you kind of knew? Uh, you yeah, I I mean, I. Yeah, I had a feeling just because how people were moving behind the scenes there. But, you know, the one thing I, I love about that place is uh, the respect that Bill has for me and the respect that I have for Bill. Uh, being communicative about it, being honest and upfront, whether I agree with it or not, you know, 
you, I, I just believe in my ability as a football player and everywhere I've gone, I've made a defense better. And every time I've left, they've gotten worse, but that's, that's another story, you know? Um, but I do respect him. I do respect the Patriot organization. Um, I love RKK. He's been wonderful to my family. You know, I'll, I'll always be a, a Patriot. There's no denying that, but I'm definitely a charger and I'm, I hope, I hope to be putting a charger symbol right up to the Patriots because I want to be remembered as both. How many more years do you think? Have you even thought about that? Are you just in the middle of still grinding and playing? You know, that's a good question. Uh, I, I get that asked a lot and obviously the, the end is near, but I still got enough juice, man. I got, I got a lot of juice left. Um, I'm still hungry. I get up and I, I love, I love proving my family right. And I love proving haters wrong. I still like talking trash at practice. Um, I, I love, I, <laughs> it's funny. I'll tell a quick story. Cause I know you have, uh, somebody from TVG next. I, I don't know his name. Mike, but, Mike, uh, you don't give out any Mike, winners. Sorry. You don't give any winners. You don't give any winners. winners. I'm sorry about it. But I'll tell you a quick story. So it was in the middle of the season in uh, New England. And you know how the weather gets. It gets a little cold. And I, I started to sense a little sluggish during seven on seven. And, yeah, you, you guys know how I get sometimes. I started talking trash to Matt. Get a little, little feathers under the skin. Talking trash to Hunter Henry. And then we got back and forth. And I still love that. I, I love mixing it up with the guys and – I think they'll tell you that I they they love mixing it up with us, and I, I know I bring that energy at practice. I want to bring it every day because you know how the grind gets. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to monotonous. You know, you know, put the head down and work. But I try to bring that level of intensity each and every day, and and I still enjoy the game. I still love it, and it's given me a lot. And I hope to continue to give back as much as I can. And I want to pass down the knowledge I have too. Yeah, I think that's when this stage of the career really becomes awesome. I think a lot more fulfillment starts coming whenever you see a young guy, as opposed to maybe like competition with a young guy. It almost feels like fulfillment when you see a guy accomplish something. It's cool because your resume is already made. You're going to be great in the media, obviously. We already know that. Hell of a gamer. Hey, oh, yeah. Hell of a gamer, you know. So that's probably why people ask you about the future so much. But like from the sounds of it, your competitive stamina and your competitive juices will not let you quit doing something where you're going to have to keep, you know, daily focus and daily grind on. That's awesome. How's Mac Jones and shit talking? Pretty good, I heard. <laughs> it's good. It needs some work. It needs some work. He, he's, he's got a couple dad jokes in there. I know he's not a dad, but, you know, there, there's yeah, the yeah. dad joke flavors in there. Um, but he, he is pretty good. I, I like how witty he is. Sometimes it, it it catches you off guard. So I I love Mac. I actually believe in Mac. Uh, I sent him a nice uh, message the other day about I appreciate him and you know who he is as a person. I I really believe in him and I think he's going to be great. I hope he has this supporting cast um, to support him. That's for sure because he needs it. Yeah, he's going to be a player. It feels like he was like a 60-year-old man. So I think that's why the dad jokes make sense to all of us. <laughs> yeah. Because none of it made sense with how calm he was in all these situations. It was like this guy is like a 90-year-old. We weren't even talking about him like he was a rookie quarterback towards the end of the year. No. He was being compared with like everybody else. It was like, who's having a good rookie? Is it Justin Fields having – he's having some glimpses of greatness there. Trevor Lawrence, we saw some plays that looked really good. And everybody, and then Connor would always be like, well, fucking Mac. Though. He's yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah, Mac. Sorry about that. I completely yeah, forgot about Mac. Uh, Ty, go ahead, pal. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of broadcasting, hold on. One thing I will say. Speaking of Mac, I also want people to also think about David Mills for just one second. Yes. And I know everyone's like, "What, Dougie?" Um, <clears throat> I want. I want you to look at his play of his rookie year and his completions and touchdown ratio to Mac Jones. Very similar. And I don't think people have hit on that enough of the progress david mills has shown down in texans that's that's my broadcasting skills right there as you're doing some film studies <laughs> wow. is this when you were looking at what teams could be good for you you were like checking out what teams were and then you saw old dougie davis mills and you're like oh they actually got a guy down here how did you find out you know i i, I try to watch everybody i try to you know when i hold my pop warner team for my son whenever that is or 
whatever city I am and hold a Pop Warner team. I'm writing down all the plays that I see. I'm stealing from the Chiefs. I'm stealing from Josh McDaniels. I'm stealing from TB12. I'm writing all of my offensive coordinator skills down. And so I, I try to pay attention to everything. I try to see where the trends are going. Try, I, I just love football. I love staying up on it. Um, I try to shout out guys that go unseen because that's how I feel like my career has been. People that know football yeah. know I, I can play, but there's a lot of people in the media that kind of overshadow players a little bit uh, more than you know most. So I just want to shout out guys that are flying under the radar that have been really, really successful, and I think he's going to be up-and-coming one. That a baby Davis Mills down there yeah. with Lovey Smith. <clears throat> Go ahead, Tom. Kyle, when you were looking at teams, did you look anywhere that had under 60 degrees for an average temperature, or did you say mostly yeah, yeah. Nevada, California, uh, yeah. uh -huh. Texas, you know, Texas, Texas there. Arizona, Louisiana. The Saints are making Louisiana. plays. It's hot down there. But. Yeah, I think a big big part of it was looking at three, four teams. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like with my skill set, I'm I'm ten. I'm I'm wanting to rush more. I feel like in nineteen, that was probably you could say that was my most successful season. That was when I was pass rushing the most. Um, I was at the league high of uh, pressures that year. I mean, my percentage rate. I, I saw a stat the other day that it's. 13.3 percent and Woo! joey bose is at 15 oh, so, like i know i can get after the quarterback and it's kind of been overshadowed because i do a lot of different things and uh makes me valuable uh and i'm i'm excited to be able to get after the quarterback especially with the d line we have i mean mac and bosa what yeah. and then we got tillery we got sebastian what? and then johnson what? i mean Hey, well, congratulations. Enjoy it. We can't wait to watch it. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, brother. Get back to dad life. I, I appreciate you taking time to chat Feel here. Good Friday. Feel good hey! Friday. Hey, we appreciate the hell out of you, ladies and gentlemen, and newest member of the Los Angeles Chargers, uh, multiple time Super Bowl champion, Cal Van Noy. Hey! Hey! All right, we're going to get to like a three-minute break here, go to the bathroom. He's the best, dude. Yeah, good guy. Good man. I appreciate him coming on. He put a tweet out said, uh, I feel like I am now worthy of coming back on the show. Oh. He said he has something to talk about. I've asked him to come on before, and he was like, man, I got nothing really to talk about. Not yet. He's like, he watches, I think. Mm -hmm. He clips I mean, and stuff, yeah. Knows the days. Feel good Friday. Yeah, yeah. he's good guy. Good guy. He has a job waiting on him in media, too, mm -hmm. as soon as he's done. I mean, for sure. Even one of these If not from teams. anywhere else, I mean, we'll, we would offer him sure. a job immediately. Boom. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Here you go. I was actually thinking, like, is he going to keep going? Because he's so good at the media thing. Uh huh. Sounds like he's going for a bit. Yeah. Sounds like he's, I still like talking shit. I still like fighting. It's like, oh, this guy's still got the, I need to compete. He's got the juice. I need to compete. All right.